The cream marshmallows. Pick little, little. And it's like the biggest stack that you can imagine. I've got. It. <laughs> well, good morning, everybody. Uh, I'm Jim Steinberg, dean of the LBJ School, and I'm delighted to welcome you all here for this uh, very exciting event as we celebrate the opening of our new Center on Politics and Governance. Um, it's a very special day for us at the LBJ School. It's something we've been working on for a while and very excited about. And we're privileged to have uh, many colleagues and friends and guests uh, here for this, uh, this day. Uh, let me just briefly introduce the people who are with us uh, on the podium, and then uh, I'll say a little bit of words of introduction and we'll hear from our guests. First, of course, to my immediate right, President Bill Powers, the president of uh, UT Austin, has been a great leader in so many of these efforts. Next to him, uh, Jim Sacconi, Senior Vice President for External and Legislative Affairs at AT&T, who's been our partner in putting together this, uh, this wonderful center. Uh, next to him, uh, the Honorable Judith Zafrini uh, from the Texas State Senate, uh, who has played a key role on higher education issues. She's the chair of the Higher Ed Subcommittee, the Finance Committee, and plays an active role in all the issues that are of great concern to us, and we're grateful for her support over the years. Next to her, uh, Congressman Henry Bonilla, now a partner in the Normandy Group, but a very distinguished member of the U.S. Congress uh, for many years. Uh, and then... So I've got next to Ronnie, yes, next to uh, him, uh, the Honorable uh, Veronica Vargas Stidvent, who is the director of our Center for Politics and Governance and who comes to us after a, a remarkable period uh, of public service in the Bush administration, including having served as uh, Assistant Secretary for Policy at the Labor Department. And finally, our good friend and colleague, Paul Steckler, uh, who is the Centennial Professor in Communication and jointly appointed uh, in the uh, School of Communication and the LBJ School. So thank you all for coming. Uh, I just want to say a brief word about the, the center's mission and why its uh, creation and its existence is so important to our mission uh, at the LBJ School. Um, you all know we're a school about public policy and public affairs, but good policy ideas are only meaningful if they can be put into action. And so we're very focused on not only generating good ideas and good solutions, but also making sure that practitioners know where the good ideas are and making sure that we have a political system, a political electoral process, and a governance process that is capable of taking a hold of these ideas and putting them into practice. We believe for a long time, and it won't surprise you, it, it being the, the LBJ school, that there's nothing wrong with politics. The politics are a good thing. It's what makes our system strong. But if politics only lead to gridlock and polarization, then democracy won't thrive. And as the challenges get more pressing in the 21st century, it will be a threat to our very survival as a republic. Our focus is not only on the ideas and turning ideas into practice, but also on how to get bright and committed young leaders to vote, devote their talents to making the political system work. And there are many dimensions to that uh, challenge, but one of the most important is to make sure that all of the voices in our society, particularly those who are underrepresented, get heard. And that's one of the reasons why we put such an emphasis on looking at the issues of concern to the Hispanic community and the development of leadership in the Hispanic community as a focus of our work at the center. As we move forward, we intend to engage the work of all of the stakeholders in America's democracy. The media, the political leaders, people who work in the political process, the business community, NGOs, and academics to develop uh, a dialogue among all of these groups, to have cross-fertilization, and to come up with solutions that will be lasting. As I said, we're not afraid of the word political. That is the heart of what makes our system great. But this is very much a nonpartisan effort. We need to bring together people from both parties, from all uh, political perspectives, to try to find the, the solutions that the country so desperately needs. Uh, I'm convinced that this is, a, that, um, this is a time that, the, uh, that has come to create such a center. And I'm particularly grateful for the leadership of AT&T, who's been visionary in recognizing the need and the importance uh, for the existence uh, of, of this coming into being. Through their generosity, this is an idea that's become a reality, and so I want to particularly thank uh, Jim Sacconi and AT&T and the AT&T Foundation for their partnership and their leadership. 